Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez here. In this video, I'm not going to try to teach you anything. I'm gonna ask you to educate me about something. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. If this is the first time you land on this channel, I am sure you're interested in photo printing at home of your own images. And if that is the case, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click on that bell so that you receive a notice every time I upload something. Now, before we begin, I want to show you where I am at. I just actually made a sale yesterday and I shipped it today for a set of my merchandise. The mouse pad, of course, the t-shirt, which I am wearing today. As you can see, this has already been washed two times and it's still in perfect condition. I used warm cycle and I actually used the hot drying cycle. It came out the same size. It did not shrink any tiny little bit at all. It actually fitted perfectly on top of my other unwashed shirt that had not been treated yet in the washer. So that is good news. I was worried about that. As you can see here, I have made a whimsical little mouse pad for my wife. She loves this type of art and I have switched over to a larger mouse pad, as you can see. So here are my Eat Sleep Print Repeat, which I am wearing here. So this is what you would get if you ordered this particular four pack. You will get a coaster. Of course, matching with this logo, you will get a corresponding mug, which again, uh, I recommend that you just basically hand wash with hot water right out of the tap a little bit of soap one of those plastic uh, adobe pads or whatever they call them and it comes out perfectly no damage whatsoever so far it is working great i am not 100 percent sure about dishwashing because i mean i assume it should work because most of the mugs that you find at gift shops are done the same way sublimation and I'm using some of the most superior sublimation inks available out there. Now, here is another design that I decided to uh, try out. Just a happy printing everybody with a line on top and a line on the bottom. That is it. I did not do the CMYK logo in the uh, bottom like I did with the original design. This is available. You have to ask me to uh, do that for you. Uh, but normally I just offer the regular one without the lines and the tri-color wheel, color wheel thing here, like I showed you earlier. I don't have one here with me, but, and then the one that I am wearing now. But good news, I took my box to be shipped today and it turns out that it was under two pounds, well under two pounds. So that means I can ship to Australia. And, and, and the UK and Ireland and, you know, the Orient and whatever at a reasonable price. Now, what I have done is I have gone back and checked my expenses, the amount of profit that I would have to make, and I can still sell it for $66, but it will be priority shipping to the United States, okay? So I just raised that bar up quite a bit. And also first class airmail to foreign countries, that'll be $76. For just $10 more, I can ship to foreign countries. And that is awesome. So anyone who wants to get one of these sets and wants to support the channel in that manner, I welcome you to do so. My website is up. I put it on the Facebook group and I'm also adding it to the list of links on my description. Just click on show more. Okay, make sure you do that. Also, please read my description. I take a lot of pains to write a very descriptive uh, narration of what the video is about so that you don't feel that you were tricked to click on something I did not deliver on. And that is all I ask. Make sure you click on that. You will then be able to see all of the relevant links. Now, here's what I want you guys to help me with. And this is targeted to Mac users. Here's a problem that I see, okay? Now, I know perfectly well how to control color in a Windows driver for a printer, a Windows type system. Specifically, and this is very important, specifically 
for those of you who are creating profiles, not just my profiles, and yeah, I encourage you to you know purchase profiles from me. I have sold one already, and the customer was thrilled with the quality and the results. So I hope he can come back and share with you guys his experience with me as a provider and creator of this profile for him. Uh, he's very happy. That's all I that's all I care about. I want to make you guys happy. Anyway, so on a Windows system, if you're using Spider type uh, calibrator, X-ray type calibrator, they all come with a proprietary software that you use to, in the case of the X-ray Color Monkey, X-ray i1 Pro Studio, X-ray i1 Pro 1 or 2, it creates a chart and you can choose how many patches you want to have, how many sheets of paper you want to have it cover and so then you proceed to print these and the important thing that you have to be able to control fully 100 percent is you have to print these with zero color control from either the driver and of course if you're using the proprietary software they're not going to interfere so you have to be able to turn off all color control in the driver now i can do that simply manually Okay, the Macintosh system is a little bit different. I use this color sync and color matching. And so what I am worried about is that <clears throat> if, for instance, you go to my site and you download the three charts that you need to print and you're on a Macintosh, first of all, what are you going to print them through? Is it going to be Photoshop? Is it going to be Lightroom? Is it going to be QImage? Well, QImage is really good about this. QImage will definitely work. And I'll tell you what's what's going on. You have to not use any profile. Now, the way that the automatic color sync and color matching system for, say, for a Canon Mac driver works, and this is from a viewer who I have been discussing this with. He says, I have never made custom profiles before, but what I know is that once someone clicks print from the Color Monkey software, the Mac printer driver window pops up. After clicking on more details and then choosing color matching, he should pick Canon color matching instead of color sync so that the printer can print without specific ICC profile. However, I don't know how to turn off both of these because you have to choose either color sync or Canon color matching. Now, in a Windows driver, Canon color matching, basically you arrive at that by clicking on the box that says color intensity and color adjustment something like that and uh, i always forget the name of it but it's a little box that's part of the uh, series of uh, choices you make that gets you over to a manual area where you can adjust color manually by moving sliders then you click on matching and then select none so that way you turn off all control from the driver now on the mac it's supposed to happen automatically but that happens automatically only when you are printing through an application like photoshop and you want to tell Photoshop to control color, then you choose the ICC profile. Once you do that, then the Canon driver, Mac driver, will turn off color matching automatically, supposedly, right? So that's why it should work. It should be pretty much how they say, idiot proof. So you tell Photoshop to control color, you tell Lightroom to control color, and automatically the driver turns off color matching, okay? In the Windows machine, Windows driver, you have to do that manually. You have to automatically choose say i have uh four canon drivers and a bunch of epson drivers i can go to devices and printers and manually set every one of those drivers as a default to never control color and once i save that it is done that's it it will never control color ever again even if i wanted it to unless i go back and manually set that to allow it to do so so that is pretty much, again, idiot proof. Once you set that, it is done. You can just print from Photoshop, tell it to control color, pick an ICC profile, and don't have to worry about the fact that you might be double profiling. Now, that's all fine and dandy when you're printing photos, but when you are printing charts, for instance, if you have a color monkey, you are creating your chart directly through the proprietary software for the color monkey photo. So there is no color space assigned. There is no 
profile of any sort assigned to that creation of those color patches, you then print it. How do you know that the printer driver is going to not control color? He is not quite sure either, I don't think. Now, if I was printing a photo through an ICC profile, then yeah, the driver would know that I have told something else to control color. And it turns color control off in the driver or color matching in the case of Canon printers. But I'm printing a profile chart that contains no profile, no color space, nothing. It's just a set of arbitrary values, colors. And I want to print them without any interference from a secondary entity. So I am at a loss. I cannot help people who ask that. Every day on the various printing forums, I read about all of these problems that people are having now. It has to do with people using a Mac system and getting into color management. Yes, for those who know how to do it, it is super easy. And I absolutely agree that it is super easy. But for those who do not know how to do it, they're a bit out of a, you know, at a loss when it comes to that. It's, and so I was thinking, for instance, if someone orders a profile for me and they download those three files, how can they print them and guarantee that absolutely no color management was used to print those files with their Mac driver for an Epson P800 or, or Pro 100 from Canon or Pro 1000 or whatever, whatever Epson or Canon printer was used. How do they know absolutely when they're printing my three charts through an application that they will not be printed with some sort of a interference from the driver? So I want to know, you guys that are experts, I am not at all. I know nothing about this. So I only know how to use Windows drivers. So please help me by chiming in. Give me all the comments that you possibly can come up with. Give me real information that you know absolutely works so that I can then make a second video and maybe demonstrate or at least describe how to approach this when you are making a profile, that is. I know that it works for photographs, regular photographs that you're going to print, letting Photoshop or Lightroom or Q Image uh, run, you know, the uh, color control. Now, you can print those files with Q Image because there's a choice. It's called simply off, and it is dedicated for printing color charts that are going to be used for the creation of ICC profiles. I don't know of any other application that has that option, okay? So you pick off, QImage will not touch the image. It'll print it as it is. It'll open it without assigning any color space. It'll print it, but I need to know that the driver is not interfering by adding its own color management. I want no one to add color management when I am printing those charts that I will then scan and create a profile for you. You see what I'm saying? So please chime in, any of you experts that know exactly what to do, please let us know. There's a couple of people kind of waiting in the aisles right now for this type of information. So I would really appreciate that. I'm at, I'm at a point where I cannot really buy a Mac computer just to test, okay? Just to learn a different system. I am too deep invested in the system that I now have. So there's no way that I can switch over to some other system. So I am counting on you guys who are experts using Mac and color management on a Mac and printing photos on a Mac and creating ICC profiles using a Mac driver and printer. Thank you so much. Please, please help. I will put that information that I get from you guys on the Facebook group. I will link those comments to the Facebook group because there's a lot of people out there who really need to know this, even in the various other forums that I frequent. So thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Take a look at the website. I now have overseas shipping and, of course, reduced USA at better shipping rates, priority, I actually reduced my profit margin a bit so that I can provide you with two to three day shipping in the US and airmail shipping to anywhere in the world for only about $10 more. So that is it. Thank you so much. Happy printing, everybody. And make sure that you are living by this.
I know I do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.